Ooh. Hmm. I want to do a chat run. I want to one one run while I drink my coffee. I want chat to destroy, them. pick pick their best options and see what their brains are. Actually, no. Actually, never mind. On second thought, I don't want that. Okay. Um. <clears throat> well, welcome guys. You guys may have seen this before. It's a uh, feed floor zero. Oh, you haven't seen that before. Okay. Well, let me show you what's gonna happen. Pick a number from pick a number from 120 to 200. Pick a number. I'll take the early bets now in the chat from 120 to 200. Pick that number, and that's what we're gonna aim for. So 92 is not between those numbers. Here's my guess. All right, 120 to 200. Here's my guess. Bam. All right, let's see. I could probably take one. I can probably do less elites, considering the fact that I'm I'm gonna go for big feed shenanigans. If as long as I'm getting my feed stacked up, I can probably do less elites, right? Yes. One twenty-seven. I like it. It's got seven in it. Very nice. All right. Let's butter this guy up for feed. Is it just me or the game is loud as hell? Is it just me? Like I feel like it's. Can't just be, just be me. Floor zero feed. Oh my. Okay. Twin strike versus ghost. The armor. Hmm. Hmm. What if we retroactively change the title as the run's going on? Like right now, clickbait. Floor zero feed. How much HP can we get? Like that's that's a good title, right? Absolutely. It's kind of cringe though. If it's cringe, let me know. Absolutely cringe, and that's how we're doing it. Uh, I like I like the attack here, but I also like the the ghost ever. I should be practicing hallways because I want to get feed. So I should practice hallways here. That's a lot of damage. Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, we got it back anyways. I mean, armor's really good too, but... Carnage for the big smackaroos. Or blind, since blind is a great source of weaken. Big smackaroo. Got floors your feet, baby. And we're gonna upgrade that bad boy. Let's go. I doing guitar. Oh no. Okay, so if I do this, he's gonna get 11 life back. But he's gonna lose. Okay, so he's gonna be at 5, 11 plus 5. This is gonna do more than 15. You know, sometimes I gotta do math. Battle trance. Absolutely. Well, the thing about Demon Form and Limit Break is that they're not very good together. Like, if you have Demon Form, you probably don't want to care about Limit Break, vice versa. But if you have Limit Break, if you only have Flex and Limit Break, then you're very sad, as we saw the other day. Maybe you didn't see it. Maybe it's a good thing you didn't see it. But we were very sad to have Limit Break early and only Flex to make it go. Art of War's pretty good. Then Masco, thanks for the follow, buddy. Art of War. I mean, I'm always playing attacks, though, right? I'm pretty much always playing attacks. Like, maybe later on, Art of War is going to pop off. Like, in the mid-game, this is pretty good if I have turns where I only play powers, or I only play, like, some skills for blocking. So 
I could see myself taking it, but it's also... Ah, God damn it. I can see myself just skipping it here. All right. Normally, you would, I don't like skipping early on because you want to get as much of an advantage as possible. We got to get the feed, right? All right. We got to preserve the feed. Once you feed, we're okay. Oh my god, this is gonna be huge. Okay, so we got a naked limit break. You were right about one thing. You got the limit break right. Now let's find out <clears throat> if you want to take it naked. Because we've been down this road before. Hmm. To naked limit break or not? Hmm. Yes. Yes, we will. We'll take it naked, and we won't be afraid. Because we're going to get inflamed right here. Gee, Willikers. I'll take this and call it a day. Alright, we got feed. So if we get carnage, then it's pretty good here. In total, that's 40 damage. Should I kill the guy in the middle just to like get him out of the way? So there's a big waste of damage here. Do we care if it's a waste of damage? Nah, I don't care. What's up, Kazuchiya? Yikers. What's up, uh, Arthur? Brimstone and Limit Break. Brimstone is pretty good. Just gotta watch out for the heart. All you need is love, love, love. All you need is love. Who's this diff comp guy? Who is this man? Eighty six max life. Not bad. That ain't bad. Ooh, and now we got Singing Bowl, so we're about to go to the next level. You thought 86 was a lot? Now nah, imagine... Singing Bowl in the mix. But right now, okay. Blood for Blood, if I take damage, it's a pretty big beast, be beefy attack, but Carnage does the same purpose. That's my front loaded. The Weaken from Close End is good. I guess I get a source of Weaken. I just don't like how expensive it is. We got Bash, Carnage, and Close Line. Pretty awkward. I might skip here. But the weekend is good. Thinking, thinking. All you need is love, love, love. I'm frail. All right, should I feed this guy or use the damage elsewhere? This is tough because I could just do this and then try to feed that guy, but then that might not become to fruition. Uh, let's do this. Uh oh. Lethal or not? Lethal or not? Got him. Got him. Okay, so we got the flex for Limit Break round two. Are we doing that? Battle Trans Flex Limit Break. Hmm. I think we hold on a little bit longer and we're saying, listen, it felt bad once before, we're not going to do it again. Battle Trans, it makes some sense, but yeah, it's a little awkward. We also have Twin Strike. I, I can see, I, want, I, I kind of want this to work. Flex, Twin Strike, Limit Break with Battle Trans. Alright, get the healing. Can I just use this now? 
The still cast is probably better for the split, right? This is an 18 heal. So is Heart of Iron going to save me 18 life? If not, then Blood Potion is the, the play. Because this is an 18 heal. I think that the Silk Cash can help me get a better split. I could treat like a mini Fire, fire Potion. Alright, I'll do this. I wish I could drink it right then and there. Just drink the blood of my enemies. Right there on the spot. Oh, I'm better burst, so I'm gonna do this. But yeah, I'll do this. A beard? Nah, it's like not really a beard. I didn't get the weekend. I got the weekend now. Okay, so I can play all three of these. I can get the weekend right now and just still cast it. Does that split him? If I do bash first, it splits him, yeah? Do we want to split now? Do we care? Bash, then we do the uh, Distilled Chaos, and then we just play Twin Strike. Not a bad split. It's not bad. I can live with it. Ow. Jesus. Someone stop this man. I want to set up feed. We don't talk about how we're at the boss with no relics. That, that's, uh... Topic for another day. I decided to feed it up as opposed to... I, t I didn't take Art of War, which feels kind of bad. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please, give me a feed. Alright, here's the, the real tough question. Here's the real tough question. Are we... Are we using Blood Pot just to get feed here? Nah... Yeah, fine, fuck it. Switch out once. To be honest, I, I do have to hit 137 max HP, otherwise, alright. Eh, I think it's a bad play, but, you know, whatever. Barricade offering. Show me your dick, says Siloam. Limit curse, alright, we got limit curse again. Oh my lord, we don't like any of these. Now, I always tell you guys, and you guys never listen, Barricade's an amazing win condition. It doesn't appear that way right now. But by golly, is Barricade one of the staples. I won't use it in half the fights, alright. You can no longer smith... Astrolab, they gain strength. Now, this is interesting because I have really bad AoE. So, right off the bat, we're already getting our ass destroyed by the, the, the birds, the darklings, jawworms, all the all those things, right? AoE fights are going to kick our ass. Energy is nice, but this is going to be really bad. We have max HP to offset it, so we could probably use our health as a resource. Still don't like it. You can no longer smith... Okay, if I picked up an armament, maybe that's okay. I still don't like that either. I might unironically take Astrolab here. 
and use offering for energy. But then I have the bash, carnage, clothesline, two cuss, travesty. Which, as we discussed, feels really awkward. So energy is really nice here. I wonder if I just take Philosopher's Stone. Because I have Disarm to offset some of the strength gain. And we have max, we have max HP to, to offset the damage we're taking. Alright, that's that seems fair. Fair, right? AoE's terrible. But Philosopher's Stone seems fair. In what world is it better than Fusion Hammer? Like why 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 don't I just take lack of upgrades? Hmm. There's ways to get around the lack of upgrades though, that's the thing. There's like a lot of you can get upgrades in other ways. I fought an elite in Act 1. Oh, this is what I got. I fought one elite. Right, I need to practice meditation here. So I was learning about meditation and how it's just an important skill to, to get back and focus on the right thing at hand. Because right now I'm really... I, I really don't know what I want here. I gotta, I gotta understand why would I take Fusion Hammer over Philosopher's Stone. I gotta foresee the future here. Ashlip takes away three strikes and transforms into something better that are upgraded. So that's not bad. I guess I can get through Act 2 with... Um, I can get through Act 2 with three energy. And then after Act 2, hopefully we get an energy relic and we just pop off. I can get through Act 2 with two energy. Interesting. The problem is we really want relics, right? So we wanted four energy so we can go for elites. And now that we have three energy, we're less likely to do elites. We're gonna get less relics, so we have less power overall. You see how it compounds? It's a compound conundrum. But offering a buffer buzz is a nice little combo. All you need is love, love. Uh, all you need is love. Yeah, armor plus would make fusion hammer very, very nice. And there's, there's other ways to get the upgrades. Oof, just shy of the sh oof, just shy of the prize. Wait, I didn't want to click it actually. I swear to all things holy, that was a mis mis uh, misclick. I promise you. This run's probably fun. No one's gonna cry over. No one's gonna cry over that. Give me some strength. All right, so Fiona is pretty good. AoE, I guess, is okay. Trigger's very good as well. I would like strength. Hmm. No me gusta. No me gusta los los opciones. Por favor, juego. Dame más mejor opciones. Gracias. Gracias, hasta luego. Eh, 
Is Rampage a garbage? No, Rampage is a good way to get a little, little bit of scaling. Oh my goodness gracious, Great Gauls of Fire. We are about to get our booty blasted. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Amen, brother. We knew this was going to happen, though. I really want to feed. Oh, you got to be kidding me, brother. Brother, 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 man. Okay. Well, now I actually got to try. I got to try really hard because... We consistently didn't get feed twice in a row. Uh, this is tragic. So, I'm gonna have to try here. Fuck me. Imagine having to try. Hmm. Well, playing slower, I don't think would have helped me there. I just, I just, I was taking too much damage. Hmm. What a terrible turn. Like what like what a useless turn. Can I get it a useless turn? Wow. Dragon Knight's pretty good, but this is better. So close, but so far. I know, I guess technically I could have done duplication potion to get a feed on this turn. Like, if I duplicated Mr. Blood for Blood or Carnage, then this is a free B. It's okay, we're not worried here. Fret not. Fret not, my friends. We don't get feed for the third time in a row. Wow. Finally. Okay. Oh, but that's AoE. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Fret not. I like the strength more. I look hungry. Draw into offering here. Wow. Now, what if I do offering twice to take 12 damage? Oh, that's fine. That's horrible.
Yes. Okay, my fight hand is huge. All right, the run saved. Run saved. All right, so back to the regular schedule programming. Uh, we got my at hand. Everything's perfect. I wonder if we just rest again. I mean, let me see. If we rest again, I could do another elite, but I think we can manage here with my hand. My at hand gives us the brightest light in the darkest tunnel. It is like shining a flashlight on my future. <clears throat> You guys remember how Sunner used to give twice the energy if it was done with Echoform and the first one killed? Really? I don't remember I don't remember Sunder doing that. Damn. Yeah, it doesn't work with feed. I mean plus is godly now. Uh, I mean in flame plus plus one limit break, so six six strength, that's still good enough as it is. Like you're not gonna find yourself needing 12, 24, 48 strength for a lot of fights. If you can manage it, sure, that's great. But um, I, I'm not like at the moment currently looking to do that so heavily. But um, like land plus is good. But I think six strength six strength suffices for most fights because I already have front loaded carnage and blood for blood burst. What's up, Day of Justice? But my big numbers. I think we do this. All right, one or two elites. That's the question. Because uh, now this is this is tricky. This is hey, thank you for the two gifted subs. I'm appreciative, man. The tricky part is if I go for this elite, I'm forced to do two. If I do this right here, I still have the option of pivot, pivot. How does he, see? Like I want that. I want the shrug left. This is what I have, guys. As a, as the streamer, this is what I have. Let me show you. Give it a second. Alright, that's what I got. Two elites. I mean, look, we don't have AoE. We just hit the slavers. But So, I think for everything else, we're probably okay. Uh, but we do have 41 life. It is tricky. I'll do that. I'll be late safe. We'll be safe, boy. Here you... Hey, for fun gaming. Welcome, buddy. Welcome to the stream. It takes two to make a thing go right. It takes two to make it a sight. There's a world in which I can play everything, yeah? If I, if I do this correctly, if the man plays this, then plays that, let's just do this. That makes the most sense. But even then... All right, we're going to be greedy. I'm greeting it up. Although he's going to die before that even comes to be, right? Like, let's be real. Unless we draw into feed right now. Travesty. Double true grit. True grit gives us energy. I mean, uh, sorry, if you don't think gives us energy. But then we need true grit. Oh my god, guys. Wait, we're actually dying. I need I need a heal here or something. Or a potion. Anything. And you know what's the problem here is that offering is doing too much damage. Boohoo, too much damage, but it's true. Alright, this is actually very tragic. And difficult. I need Juggernaut. Juggernaut is like my best tool. Juggernaut is my best tool right now. I got the feed. I just need to like make it stick. How does one make it stick? By using blocks. By using blocks, I get this feed to stick. One, two, bam. Okay, give me a good potion. That's somewhat good. Max HP. Vamos. All right, we need this to stick big time. Hmm. Hmm.
Okay, there's a world in which Juggernaut hits this guy, so we do this, and we hope for the best. You know what sucks? That I have to waste... Like, I want to bash this guy, because I want to hope that the Juggernaut hits one of these guys. Right? Because we have Metallicize, and we have this, the two Juggernaut procs. And I want to put all my damage into the Gremlin Leader. Right? But there's also a world in which Juggernaut just misses these guys. You know what's going to happen. Then they're going to attack me again with strength. So if I want to be the safest as I, I can be, I do this. It feels like shit. Now, I probably should have pot with a bash there, but it's too late now. We got the limit break. Alright, so this might be a decent offering turn. Like, if I do Offering now, I'm doing decent damage, right? I should probably do Offering now. Hmm. I hope I can draw back into Feed. I'm gonna go for Feed again. Like, that's not too crazy, right? Totally not too crazy. Lizard Tail. Whoa, I totally forgot that's not a boss relic anymore. At the start of your turn, you lose one HP, you draw a card. Now, look. I've got a lot of HP to waste once I'm healed up. So that's a power from Mummified Hand, and it gives me more card draw to cycle into Limit Break sooner. So if Limit Break's upgraded, that's pretty good. Second man wants me. I'm gonna be way too many powers. If I get all these powers, the Awakened One's gonna laugh in my face. I mean, that makes sense here. I got energy manipulation, more card draw. It makes sense here. Helps us do limit break things. Like it's a good card. Now, do we do? We don't rest here, right? We don't rest because Lizard Tail saves us, yeah? Absolutely. Now, beautiful. What I was going to say is that. Beautiful. Okay, give me a second here. If I play Fuel and Pain twice, I get double the energy, right? And, okay, what, what would be the best thing to play twice? Playing this twice makes you double the energy. Mm. Double the energy, sure. Hmm. Like imagine Imagine holding on to feet here. Are we greedy? Are we trying to hold feet or do we want the deck to be small so we just limit break skill? My mind's made up. My mind's made up. But my body is telling me no. All right, so brutality, it's here. It puts us on a seven turn clock. But 
Look, listen. We've got limit break and we're scaling. We can afford this. I could afford this. I should keep the weaken though, but I could also double this damage. Let's keep the weaken. Let's play it smart. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hey, that was never my intention. Speaking of intentions. Hey, look at me, a big ass camera. Look at this guy. Totally, I am very, very apologist. Look at this guy with a big camera. Jesus. <clears throat> You wanna see full block? You guys wanna see full block? Isn't Bastion Strike just better now? Whatever. We saved the pot. I mean, we saved the lizard tail. Imagine resting in that fight. What's up, Comic Queen? Now we take Barricade. Place it on the relic so my big forehead won't hide anything important there. This is true. While we're at it, let's fix this. Okay. Uh, Barricade Juggernaut. Remove two cards from your deck. Whenever you get a curse, whenever you open a boss, you get a curse. Uh, Black Star. We still have to do the Sparkle Elite and Act 4 Elite, so more relics would be nice. And I think we are at a time where we have a lot of max HP, we have strength scaling, we have good powers. At least are fun, but at the same time, I really want an energy relic. I really want the energy relic. It's unbelievable how much I need that. So now we got to do the sparkle here and then we got to try to make ourselves not die thereafter let's figure it out hmm. yikes damn we're gonna need some sustain boys we are taking damage up the uh, wazoo it is unbelievable how much damage we're taking. I really want to greet the feed, but uh, it's just not happening, guys. It's just not happening. For someone that feed this early, it's quite embarrassing how little feeds I'm getting. Okay, so now we talk about spot weakness or headbutt, right? Headbutt allows us to limit break sc uh, scaling much easier. Spot weakness is a way to get the scaling going quicker. I think we do headbutt here. A colorful shop. Okay, so we have a shop here that we want to save money for potentially. Or, by the way, that's a weakened one. Remove a card and upgrade a random card. What would I remove? I think we punch here. What? What's the clip? Let me see. Oh, so basically that clip is... I was had a good run. I was feeling myself. I forgot to recall. Okay, so we got sling of courage for elites, right? That means we can get limit break scaling sooner. There's no more strikes in my deck. Funeral Pain number three, Revolutions, volume three. Um, and don't really have good remove targets, guys. I had no more strikes in my deck. And everything that I got from the Astrolab, I liked. 
I got a metallicized a juggernaut and I got a blood for blood. I liked all of it. Like Sting of Courage is pretty good because I could don't have to depend on an inflame for limit break scaling. There's another shop here. Let's see what we get here. Preserve insects. Now that's probably still worth it, right? Because we're about to fight this and then maybe another elite and then act four elite. And that just that alone is big, big value. And blood pot is fantastic. Let's go. I kind of want some colorless cards. Just kind of want some of these colorless cards. And with that Lizard Tail, I'm feeling kind of frisky. Like, you know I feel like I want to take 10 to the face because Lizard Tail got my back. Of course, the deck's bloated, but okay, let's look at what, what would benefit us though. Dark Shackles. Dark Shackles and a Blind. Panacea Discovery or Lightman. Oh wait, we get max HP. I totally forgot I have Singing Bowl. That was a mistake. Singing Bowl means I can get max HP off of this. Hmm. Awkward. I forgot, I forgot. I meant to do that first. Whoopsies. He's a cute little tiny head, isn't he? That's a cute little head, isn't it? A lot of wasted energy there. Oh, beautiful. Good damage. Hmm. Check this out. I want you guys to marvel in the juicy glory. And tell me that ain't sexy. <clears throat> now, now that we got some headbutt battle trans things going on, headbutt battle trans limit break going on, we feeling really good. I think we don't want the third funeral pain because the weakened ones are kicking our ass, and we, two funeral pains is probably just enough for the donor deck, anyways. Receive mana from max HP. I mean, I could lose max HP. I could lose max HP. Because I already have so much of it. And I don't want another curse. Alright. So I think we upgrade things like disarm. Because we're going to need that disarm. For little miss nemesis and little miss waking one. Feed now, forever hold your peace. Nah, I want to get the feed on this guy. I gotta be greedy. I'm not being greedy enough. A lot of the turns are pretty bad though. Like if you, if you if you see what I'm seeing. hoping to get I want to use blood pot because I think it's gonna be uh, I just pass because I don't want he's gonna die and bring back feed I better do that because I wanted to I don't want him to die 
let's see this, babe. Well, should, I, should I do feed beforehand? I can still drink it while I, when I combat, right? At the end of combat, I can drink it? Okay. Pummel's pretty good. Pummel's worth taking, yeah? Chamber's Ashes is pretty sexy as well. I know, I had 200 HP run that one time. I know. this. I'm not really maximizing feed as much. I'm just being more, like, proactive. I could stall feed for, like, crazy amount. I did not let me break before. I don't know. Immediately travel? Absolutely not. I think I should upgrade this. Get my no rise. But we gotta upgrade these. Whenever you just uh, exhaust a card, you do AoE damage. That's what it is. I did do that? Wow, that's embarrassing, guys. That's tragic. I need to kill these guys. Feed. Where's the feed? Dragon's not out yet, right? Alright, good. He's not dead yet. But I gotta make sure that Dragon uh, Feed doesn't kill him first. Oh my lord. Why did I just. Oh, I already used Feed, didn't I? No, I didn't. Tragic. Jaren's Ashes kills him. Wait, so what if I drink that first? Then I get more out of blood pot, but let's just do this. I'm not feeding enough. I don't really have AoE. Alright, boys. Here we go. I've got a lot of powers. Now, I can offset these powers. Like, if I play Fetal Pain, I exhaust enough that Fetal Pain's worth it, right? So, Fetal Pain's only not worth it. When he's multi-attacking. But every other time it's worth it. For all much success. I think Dragon is useful as well, but I don't know if I want to play that. I do gotta play this one. I don't have Shrugit, so I don't exhaust Ooh. Second Field of Pain is actually I don't know about that one. 
Yeah, I can't play that second one. Um, Metallicize, again, it gives him... I take four extra damage on the multi-hit because playing this, but it blocks... It, hmm. It's worth it every other time. And once I use the charm, it's totally fine. You can hear the spin of my mic? Okay. So now I went from unclear to too clear. Right now, I feel like it's a little loud, so let me try to do something. Testing, testing. Testing, 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 testing. Testing, that's better. Testing. Also, did, did the, um... Did the quality get worse when I opened up that program just now? I wish I had sugar. Look how nice sugar would be. Barricade is great in this deck, just not for this fight. Imagine duplicating pilots and then break here. That's not necessary. What's up, weed man? Some big deeps. I want to save this, but I'm not going to need it going forward. Going forward, I'm not going to need this. I'm keep the deck small. I need to kill him, so that I can... This is cool. Alright, let's do the math. Let me break uppercut, two seconds lethal, yeah? What if I try to save ghostly armor here? Save ghostly armor. I want to try to get like full block next turn. bring back I could bring back offering so I have a better block but he's gonna do attack for 40 I guess I could try to lethal next turn but that's not possible I'm not barricade up it's gonna be really hard to like get lethal here let's see something What if I try to full block here with duplication potion so I can save the tail? Probably worth it, right? Or I do duplication for lethal. This is 210 damage. 
210 plus this is 268 damage. 268 plus 80 is enough damage. Seems worth it, right? Save the legend tail. Was there a world? No. Hmm. I want to do offering right away. One of my funeral pains. No, I don't just save 9 HP. Okay, I do save 9 HP if you think of it that way. I save also a buffer. It's pretty bit as like a buffer hit. Like it's the effective HP you're saving from the hit that you were blocking, you know? It's not just 9 HP. Let's see what this is. Have maybe just saved it, but I wanted to get less safe cards. I'm trying to save cards. Brutality puts me on a clock. I get it out of the deck. Puts me on a clock. Unless I think I could save this until I should probably just. Wow, what a turn. Alright. Everybody buckle up, buckle in, settle down. I wonder, I wonder if I just play Brutality. At 6 HP, if, if I feel like I can save my... Lich Tail, then I don't play it. But if I'm not saving Lich Tail, so right now if I just pass, I get 10 block. By letting Carnage go to waste, I get 10 block. It's also extra turns. It's good damage, but if I let it go, then I get more block here. And I might as well just go for more limit break, or I can try to push the... Nah. This is fine. I'd rather get more brutality turns. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate, because I don't get limit break here. I kind of want to just get the block here. Limit break scaling going. If I do this, 56 damage. Pushes him to split. Or I could just try to stall. Stall and get limit break going some more. Or I could pop now.
Alright, I still got four turns of brutality. We're three now. Two turns. Hey, Lamau. Okay, let your toes intact, baby. Remember my prediction, guys. This is rice pudding. I should use a spoon, but I'm drinking my rice pudding. My prediction was 137. So we can't hit that mark. Unless we use Singing Bolt, we can still hit the mark of 137 max HP. We might hit it on the dot. Or Seth is good, yeah. If I get a feed and I skip one card with Singing Bolt, I hit 137 exactly. And my prediction, I wasn't even going for it, but my prediction is dead on. Now, of course, I'm in control of how much health I'm getting, so it's kind of unfair. But I swear I wasn't going for 137 deliberately. So, Look, you guys, If you guys were in the beginning of the stream, you know I predicted that. Anyways, it's not, it's not guaranteed just yet. Okay, so if we're going to rest for the max HP, I mean for the HP, or are we going to upgrade something? Like, I think Discovery is a good upgrade, but by the time Discovery is played, the deck wants to be slimmed down. It wants to limit break scale, and it wants to just, like, scale limit break as fast as possible, get some kind of surplus of block with barricade if possible, and then... And just try to end the fight before we die. Right? Use your health as a resource and end the fight. We have Lizard Tail as well, right? Because we don't have a good way of maintaining a lot of block. The best turns we're going to get block is the Funeral Pain turns with double disarm. So when he's multi-hitting, we're going to mitigate a lot of damage with the disarms. And that's going to be our biggest turns to gain block. If we find an Entrench, then maybe we have a chance to use Barricade for that purpose. But for right now, we just want to mitigate damage. As best as we can. Use our health as a resource. Limit break skill. Then end the fight before he ends us. Yeah, barricade becomes cheaper. Because I have one at hand. I don't care about the upgrade. So the only upgrade I can see being meaningful. Or like getting brutality out of the way. Getting brutality out of the way early on. So the burns don't affect me as much. Because on the Act 4 Elite. The burns on turn 2 are pretty, pretty brutal. Prime numbers are cooler than prime subs. Hey, what's up, Baku? 19 months in a row. Welcome back, buddy. Brutality upgrade means like I don't get affected by the burn so much on the Act 4 Elite. I get it out of the way for the heart, so I have more draws, better draws, and get limit breaks getting quicker. Of course, that's 30 HP or so that I'm passing up. Yeah, I would add Corruption for this fight. Corru now, the reason why Corruption is really good for this is that Corruption... It takes my current skills and doubles their value in block because of Funeral Pain. So Corruption is huge. Corruption would be really big here. Because then, because I have Barricade, I just double the value of my skills and then thin the deck down, Limit Break, Strength Scaling, and just end the fight with attacks. And Corruption is great. Now, I think Offering is not worth it because I, what's more important for me is like the card draw of Brutality. I think Discovery's not going to get enough value. I'm not going to play this more than once or twice. And it's, and, mm, it's inconsistent. Okay, is 30 HP or Brutality here? I think the deck probably draws into... I think we'll trust that the deck draws into that. Okay, so Burning Pack is pretty good. I mean, uh, Dark Embrace is pretty good. It's another skill. Gives us more card draw. I also have this. Artifacts Flex Pot. What this does is I can stop the vulnerable on the heart so that I survive the first two turns without taking too much damage. Or I could do flex artifacts. I can only buy one. So I wonder if artifacts to play. Or I can remove parasite. Mm. I don't have any true in the deck. That's terrible. Yeah, corruption will help limit scaling, but... You, you would play Corruption after Limit Scaling, ideally, is probably already done once or twice. You don't need a million strength, you only need 10 plus, and you're doing enough damage. You can remove the Parasite so we have more consistent draws, sure. I think the Artifact is probably better though. If I can stop the Vulnerable on the Heart for the first two turns, I'm already saving so much life. 
There's also a world where I do burning packs. The deck gets down. The deck is really small once I play all my powers. The deck is super small. Flex for limit break. Impatience is some draw, sure, but eh, we don't care about that. Let's go. I go for the 50 50 here. I go for the 50 50. I really hope that it hits. I want to feed. If I skip the card, I had the perfect prediction. <sighs> Give me exhum, exhum, exhum. Sugar's pretty good. Okay, I'm thirty seven. Let's go. Bring back the defense. Alright, we're not vulnerable. Burning pack versus rupture. Wait, so this is interesting because if I do rupture, I have brutality already. So I have brutality, so the rupture helps me get limit break uh, more scaling quicker. But the burning pack helps me dr take out the burns and gives me burning pack gives me you know pain block. Like yeah, rupture brutality is cool, but it's not gonna be that great. Limit break is gonna scale like incredible anyway. So this is, this is the play in my opinion. I think we let go of carnage. And I think we just let go of feed as well, right? Just thin out the deck as much as possible. And we gotta just survive here. Like we want a weaken, so we want to like offering here. I can make barricade free. I think it's is it worth it? Like if I do disarm, barricade becomes free, right? But then I'm losing my disarm. Um, like I, I wonder if it's worth doing this because he's gonna get rid of the debuff anyways, just to get the barricade for free, or try to high roll fifty fifty. Damn. Try to try high with 50 again. It's 
Should I save this for the multi-hit or no? Or just get it out of the deck. Just get it out of the deck. That is a bash clothesline to get rid of the, the artifacts, and then I could do disarm. GG. Game over. You want to see why it's game over? Do I just take damage here just to do limit break, head by limit break, or I should block? Nope. Hmm. Gotta be careful. Get Lich Till though. God, I have so much damage. Ah, I'm conflicted. I want to weaken, but I also want to just like block a little bit. I guess I just let Lizard Tail do its thing. I just go for lethal and do let, let, let Lizard Tail do its thing. Right? I just go for lethal, right? Because I could block a lot of this. Which got barricade. I'm not sure. Hades update. We can guarantee lethal next turn, yeah? We can guarantee lethal next turn. It's kind of cool. I know like I'm the one that's piloting the thing, but guys, on floor zero, we got feed, and I predicted 137, all right? That's all I got to say.